The first cannabis feminist sensuality circle brought together women from all walks of life to discuss the sacred connection between cannabis and sense, sex, and sisterhood. Events like these confirm that when it comes to cannabis, the future is female. We're sitting down with Carly Jo, who is a sensuality coach, cannabis feminist consultant, and aerial yoga teacher. You have the best life ever. But first, let's start with being a sensuality coach. What does that entail? Being a sensuality coach to me is this amazing ability to reach out to women and help them awaken to the magic of their pussy power. <laughs> <laughs> and I do that through one-on-one -on -one gentle coaching, jade egg practices. Yes, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Cannabis rituals and a lot of embodiment, um, helping women really tap in, discover, and connect to their bodies to build a deeper connection and an understanding with it because my pleasure is mine. I own that. No man owns that. And that's really the message that I am spreading to women is that everything that they need, all the love that they need, all the pleasure they seek in this world is within their bodies. They have it within them. Why do you think this is a perfect marriage, cannabis and sensuality? I think my cannabis life was still a little closeted and then I came to a cannabis feminist circle and it really empowered me. So I created a little ritual for myself and that is the first time that I understood what being orgasmic was. And now I'm, I use cannabis in the majority of my meditations. One last thing, if you could uh. give women everywhere or men one quick tip that they could implement today to help them connect with their most sensual selves what would it be slow down slow down take your time connect to the pleasure connect to your senses and breathe we hold our breath a lot breathe yeah. so beautiful <laughs> thank you so much carly